In this video, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to create eye-catching mockups for your wall art Etsy store. Whether you're just starting out on Etsy or looking to revamp your printable art store, this video tutorial will help you revive your dead Etsy store, increase your sales, and make your shop look more professional. I'll be showing the process in Canva, which is free, beginner-friendly, and easy to use. So let's dive in and give your Etsy store the makeover it deserves. Before we start creating these professional mockups, let us take a look at the most overlooked yet most important step, which is to plan the look and feel of your mockup. One of the most effective ways to elevate your shop is by taking inspiration from successful sellers. Studying successful shops can give you insight into what works because these shops have already proven their appeal to customers. Taking a good look at their mockups, how they present their art, and the overall aesthetic they use will help you plan your shop and listing well and professionally. In this video, I'll be using the Lila and Lola's shop as an inspiration. Let's see what makes their listing stand out. So I will click on this listing for a proper view. The primary image is crucial because it's the first thing buyers see. It needs to be eye catching and represent your art in the best possible light. An attractive primary image can make the difference between a potential customer clicking on your listing or scrolling past it. For your second image, it's highly beneficial to use video mockups. When a buyer hovers over your listing, the primary image is replaced by the secondary image. Having a dynamic video displayed is more likely to catch buyers' attention and attract clicks. The rest of the images in your listing should show different angles and perspectives of your art. This variety helps potential buyers see the artwork from all sides and provides a more complete view of the product. These images should be mostly like a gallery view or lifestyle images, just as in a reference store here. As you can see, this third image is a lifestyle image that clearly shows how the artwork will look when hanged on the wall. The fourth one also is a lifestyle image, but here with an odd green contrasting background which is not so good by me, but the idea is to show the audience several different outcomes and view of the art, which is fine. The fifth is also a lifestyle image, but with a nice pinkish background that very much complements the color of the artwork, which looks great. And finally, which is very important, is the information of your listing, though you will need to fill that out in the details of your listing. Also, when designing your product listing, it's important to understand and take notice of the cropping effect on Etsy listings. When you click on any art on Etsy, it's complete and the aspect ratio is not affected. However, on the home page, Etsy crops the upper and lower parts of the image slightly. So ensure the most critical parts of your image are centered so they remain visible even when cropped. By planning your mock-ups with these considerations, you'll create a more polished and appealing presentation for your Etsy store. I will show you first how to use the free template available on Canva, and then how to get customized downloadable templates on professional sites like Etsy or Creative Market that will make your store more professional and give it a more branded look and feel. First, for the free templates, search for wall art mock-up template on the search bar. Here you will find both free and premium templates that are eye-catching. So pick the one you feel suits your style. I will use this one for this tutorial. Then click on customize this template. Once it has opened in the workspace, the first thing to do is upload your art. Click upload on the left side of the screen. You can decide to drag and drop your art or you can upload your artwork from various sources. Click on the icons for Dropbox, Box, or Google Drive if your artwork is stored in one of these cloud services. If your artwork is saved on your computer, click on the Upload Files button at the top. After clicking Upload Files, a file browser window will open. Navigate to the location where your artwork is saved, select the file, and click Open. Your artwork will start uploading to Canva. So it's actually quite simple to add your art in Canva. Just click and drag it over the art. Canva automatically snaps it into the template and also resizes it accordingly. So for the next image, which is a lifestyle image, go ahead and add a new page. So we are going to search for another mock-up template with a lifestyle view for it. 
again on the search bar here, search for wall art mockups. We are looking for a free one here. That is eye catchy. Here I will go with this. So just click and drag it to your workspace. Now you can drag your art to it and Canva will automatically snap it in. Note, in some cases, the snapping effect may rotate your art. In such cases, you may have to manually resize your art. And just like our reference store, you should create at least four different designs with different angle, one video mock-up, and the information of your listing. Making six different designs for your listing. And for the information of your listing, create a new page. Be sure your listing is a one by one aspect ratio. You can check that to be sure by clicking on the resize and magic switch at the top left corner of the screen. Navigate to custom size. There you can put the size you want. 2000 by 2000 pixels is okay for an Etsy listing. So this doesn't need any design. Just the information is okay. So just add a heading from the left side of the screen. You can type in aspect ratios and sizes available in the listing. Just reduce the size and drag it to the top. Then you can type in whatever size and aspect ratio you have available for your art. Now you can save your design by clicking on share at the top right corner of the screen. Save your work in either PNG or JPG. So just as I said earlier, if you want a more professional and branded look, you should pay for premium template on sites like Etsy or Creative Market. You can get very eye catchy templates that will give your shop a professional look and feel. So let's make our search on Etsy. Search for high quality Canva mockup templates on Etsy. Type wall art mockup template for Canva. You will have a lot to look out for. Look for templates that match your style and brand. Make sure to check the reviews and ratings. Once you find a mockup you like, purchase it. If it's a Canva template, then you'll get a PDF file containing the link to the template on Canva. I already purchased one earlier on. After purchasing your chosen Canva template, you will receive a PDF file containing the link to the template on Canva. Click on the link to open in your web browser. This will direct you to the Canva page containing your template. So here is our template, and you will agree with me that this looks more professional and branded than the free templates. So first we want to know the extent of what we are permitted to edit on this template. To know that, simply move your mouse cursor over the design to see the editable areas. These will be outlined with a thin purple line. In this specific template, only the artwork itself can be edited. You cannot add or modify shadows or highlights, and we have a number of template given in the package. However, we only need four of them. The primary image, and three other gallery or lifestyle images. So I will delete the ones I don't need for now. The next thing to do is upload your art, but since we have done that already, let's move to adding them to our mockups. For our primary image, I will use this template, and that is due to the cropping effect. The frame in this template is more centered and it better represents the design. So I will just do this and you will do the rest. It's all the same process for all. Just drag the design and Canva will automatically snap it into the frame while also resizing it perfectly. But this doesn't feel professional as there are no shadows and it is just a flat design. To give it that realism, click on the art and then click on the three dots above, then scroll to layer and click on send backwards. And that's the magic. As you can see, this looks more real with the shadows. So you can do that for the rest of the listing.
And when you are done, save your work in either JPG or PNG. For the second mock-up, which is a video mock-up as in our reference door. Currently, Canva does not offer good video mock-up templates. For creating video mock-ups of your artwork, you will need to use Photoshop-based templates. Don't worry, I have covered the process of creating video mock-ups in a detailed step-by-step -step guide in the next video. Check it out now, and I also show how you can automate this entire process to do all of this automatically with a single plugin that will save you lots of time and of time and efforts. And guess what? It is very easy and simple to understand, even for a beginner. So check the video out, drop the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you.